to Simone, I am asking you directly and publicly to please put a stop to this. We've been hurt and attacked in ways that I am certain you um, never intended. Today, we're diving into a story that has the entire gymnastics community and really, anyone who's been following the Olympics completely shook. We're talking about the explosive tension between two of the biggest names in gymnastics, Simone Biles and Michaela Skinner. This isn't just your typical sports rivalry, folks. This is a full-blown drama with emotions running high, social media in a frenzy, and some serious stakes on the line. Let's rewind a bit and talk about how all of this started. But besides Simone, I feel like the talent and the depth just isn't like what it used to be. I just notice like, I mean, obviously a lot of girls don't work as hard. The girls just don't have the work ethic. Like, and it's hard too because it's a safe sport. Like coaches can't get on athletes and they have to be really careful what they say, which in some ways is really good. But at the same time, to get to where you need to be in gymnastics, you do have to be, I feel like a little aggressive and a little- Simone and Michaela, two incredibly talented gymnasts, right? Both have represented the US on the world stage and they've both got the medals to prove it. You'd think they'd be thick as thieves, but like any high stakes environment, the world of gymnastics isn't just about what happens on the mat. It's about the relationships, the pressure, and sometimes the drama that brews behind the scenes. So a few weeks ago, Michaela made a comment that set the stage for what's become one of the biggest feuds in gymnastics history. She talked about the new generation of gymnasts, saying that they lacked work ethic. Now on the surface, it might seem like just an opinion, right? But in the world of gymnastics, where every word can be magnified, this was more like a grenade tossed into a very tense room. Imagine being a young gymnast who's trained their whole life for this moment, only to hear a former teammate say that you're lazy or lacking talent. Ouch, right, well, Simone Biles who's known for her incredible talent but also for being a fierce protector of her teammates wasn't about to let this slide. Enter Simone Biles, if you know anything about Simone, you know she doesn't just dominate the sport, she dominates the conversation around it. So, when she saw Michaela's comment, she didn't just sit back and let it roll off her shoulders. Nope, she clapped back in a way that only Simone Biles can. After the US team clinched gold at the Paris Olympics, an incredible achievement by any measure Simone posted a picture with a caption that sent shockwaves through the gymnastics community. Lack of talent, lazy Olympic champions. Now, you don't have to be a detective to figure out who she was talking about. This was a direct shot at Michaela Skinner, and the message was loud and clear. You don't get to disrespect the team and get away with it. Social media went wild. Fans, athletes, even sports commentators couldn't stop talking about it. Some people were cheering Simone on, saying she was right to defend her team. Others thought it was a bit harsh, especially considering Michaela's history and contributions to the sport. But one thing was certain Simone had everyone's attention, including Michaela's. Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Olympic Games is an amazing experience, so I couldn't be prouder. But at the end of the day, um, it is crazy that I am in the conversation of greatest of all athletes because I just still think I'm Simone Biles from Spring, Texas that loves to flip. Now let's switch gears and talk about how Michaela responded. This is where things get really intense. Michaela, clearly shaken by the backlash, decided to address the situation head on. She posted a video to her Instagram and let me tell you, it was emotional. Okay. I take 100% responsibility for poorly articulating the point I was trying to make. latest post and others that followed it fueled another wave of hateful comments, um, DMs, watching people cheer on the bullying, which has led to threats of physical harm to me, my husband, and our daughter is disgusting. If Simone truly believes that I called our team lazy and lacking talent, and if that's really how she feels, I am really heartbroken over it. In the video, Michaela looked genuinely distressed. She started off by acknowledging that her comment might not have come out the way she intended. She admitted that she was trying to make a point about work ethic, 
but it ended up sounding like a criticism of the very team she supported for years. Michaela even apologized, saying she never meant to hurt anyone and that she was truly heartbroken over how things had escalated. But here's where things take a dark turn, Michaela revealed that since Simone's post, she and her family had been receiving death threats. Death threats, people, can you imagine? All because of one comment that spiraled out of control. Michaela was practically begging Simone to help stop the wave of hate. She asked Simone to step in and use her influence to calm things down, to tell her followers that enough is enough. This wasn't just a casual ask. This was a desperate plea from someone who felt like her world was crumbling. Michaela wasn't just worried about her reputation, she was scared for her safety and the safety of her loved ones. You have been an incredible champion for mental health awareness and a lot of people need your help now. I know these women are incredible, the very best of the best. Your performance, the team's performance and the Olympics in general should be a time that we support one another and lift each other and our country up. Now, you might be wondering, why did Simone feel so strongly about this? Why did she decide to speak out in such a public way? To understand that, we need to take a closer look at who Simone Biles is, not just as an athlete, but as a person. Biles has been through a lot in her career. She's faced immense pressure, both on and off the mat. She's also had to deal with the weight of being the face of US gymnastics during some incredibly tough times. Remember, Simone has always been a vocal advocate for her teammates and for the sport. She stood up against abuse, she's championed mental health, and she's always been about protecting those who might not have the power to protect themselves. So, when Michaela made that comment, Simone saw it as more than just an offhand remark. She saw it as an attack on her team, a team full of young women who are still finding their voices in the sport. Simone decided it was her responsibility to stand up for them, to show them that it's okay to speak out, even if it means ruffling a few feathers. In an interview, Simone explained that she wanted to teach her teammates the importance of using their voices. She said, if not, you're a voice for the voiceless, which is okay. I just felt like it was right in that moment to stand up for them because they're so young and they haven't fully stood in their power yet. So, where does this leave us? We've got two incredibly strong women both passionate, both with their own perspectives caught in the middle of a very public feud. And it's only getting more intense, the gymnastics world is buzzing, fans are divided, and the media is having a field day with this story. On one side, you've got people who are backing Simone all the way. They're saying that she did the right thing by defending her team, by calling out what she saw as an unfair criticism. On the other side, there are those who feel for Michaela, who believe that she's genuinely sorry and that the hate she's receiving is way out of line. But here's the thing, this isn't just about Simone and Michaela anymore. This feud has opened up a much bigger conversation about accountability, forgiveness, and the power of social media. When someone as influential as Simone Biles speaks out, her words carry weight. But with that influence comes responsibility. So the big question now is will Simone respond to Michaela's plea? Will she ask her followers to dial it back? Or does she feel that standing her ground is more important than smoothing things over? I feel like a lot of you guys had misinterpreted or misunderstood exactly what I was meaning or had said. I followed up with a written apology and I sent individual messages to each of the women on the team. Only Simone had responded and she told me that she was proud of me. Right now, everyone's waiting to see what happens next. Will Simone and Michaela find a way to make peace? Or will this feud continue to escalate, dividing not just them, but the entire gymnastics community? It's a tough situation and honestly, there's no easy answer. But one thing is for sure this story is far from over. As fans, we can only hope that both Simone and Michaela find a way to move forward, whether that means reconciling or simply agreeing to disagree. After all, they've both contributed so much to the sport, and it would be a shame to see their legacy overshadowed by a feud.